A lot of people talk about microphones for podcasting and ask which one is the best. If you're thinking about podcasting, voice acting, or recording instruments, like an acoustic guitar, or maybe you want to upgrade your gear and ditch that USB thing you've been using, I have a great microphone suggestion. It's the SE Electronics X1S. Whether you just want to do podcasting, voice acting, or record your own music, the X1S is a great choice. You don't have to know a lot about microphones to hear the difference. In fact, you're listening to one right now. But let's take the X1S out of the studio to see what we can do with it. It's a large diaphragm condenser mic with an XLR connection, and it requires 48 volt phantom power. There are two low cut filters, one for 80 and one for 160 hertz. These can help reduce low frequency rumble, plosives, and the sound of footfalls and the proximity effect caused when the mic is being used very close. It also has two switchable attenuation pads. It has a cardioid polar pattern, so that means that it's most sensitive with the mic facing you. This microphone requires 48 volt phantom power to operate, so you're going to need an interface to record. Just plug in the mic, engage the phantom power, and you're ready. As you can see, this mic can be used for all kinds of recording applications, even though it was designed as an affordable way to record music. SC Electronics was founded in 2000 by Suwei Zhu. After becoming a successful conductor, composer, and bassoon player, Mr. Zhu was invited to California State University as a visiting scholar in their music department. During this time, he began working with manufacturers to develop microphone technology. Mr. Zhu has said that he believes the microphone itself to be an instrument, and he has collaborated with some of the best musical minds in the business, including Rupert Neve. Thanks for listening to Creepy, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel during the month of May.